kind of some days feel like you're trying to resurrect the day. Uh, What's up, Josh? Not much, you. What do we got going on today? We're going to be doing an inspection on uh, some dampeners on an 8335R and probably look at the fan drives while we're in there. It's a pretty common thing on the 8Rs. It is, yeah. yeah the, the newer style with the dry assemblies has been better, less maintenance, but um, this particular tractor has one dry and one original, so we'll have to take a peek and see what it's looking like. It's a hot one out here today. It is warm. <laughs> It is warm. This. Okay. Has it been checked before? Yeah, this, this dampener has been replaced. It's not it's not green and it's it's in it's in good shape I would say. So these dampeners have also been replaced. Um, obviously they're black, so that means they're a replacement. The fan drive has been replaced. It is a dry type driver on here already. So we'll check the, uh, check the drive and go from there. So this is actually the old part number belt, so that probably, we'll probably plan on replacing that. Um, and I actually, we might just do that because I, if that's all it needs, we'll just put a belt on it right now. I've got one of those in my truck. This is a, this is a dry driver. We'll at least kind of check that, but for the most part, they've been better than the previous version. The, the driven assembly is a, is a set of shivs against the spring, and we always just make sure that that moves nice and straight. Um, doesn't want to start to you know, deflect or cock to one side, but this one is nice and straight and in good shape, I would say. The, uh, uh, on the drive side here, this shiv has a like a poly uh, seal on the inside and then a metal wear sleeve and the seal seems to do most of the tightening to it um, This particular one I would say probably needs to Be rebuilt I would say um, While we're here, we'll just fill it full of grease and rebuild that while it's apart you can actually see that the, the shiv will move on the shaft you can see just a little bit of play right there. So that means that this this shiv should be tight on this shaft. And then we'll also, when this is off of here, we'll check and make sure the splines are are good. And if, if they keep it greased once, twice a year, depending on how many hours they put on it, uh, that will really save the splines. So we got to pop the fan off because we're going to change the belt. So now we'll take those six out. What's the new part number on that? Uh, I don't remember. It's five RE five six eight. I've got one in my truck. I'll uh, I'll get it. How often do they change those belt numbers? Um, I think this is our second for this one. They went to a wider belt 
because they thought that it was wearing prematurely and that put extra stress on the shivs and the seals and the wear sleeves and everything inside here. And this blinds look a little warm. Uh, definitely the wear ring, you can see the wear ring is, is shot. It's in pieces in there, so we'll clean all that up. If it needs more than this, generally, then we recommend just putting an entire assembly on that would be, this would also be dry to match the one that's on there. New part number RE568198 for the 8000s, 30s and the Rs. Here's our parts and our belt, and we'll get some stuff to clean out the shivs. This will be some ickiness. Where at the dentist, you clean it out yeah. <laughs> with the pick. Even the noise is the same. The grinding teeth sound. Yeah. See? We gotta check and make sure we got a little bit of a lick there. Tractor doctor. Yeah. That's what you guys should really be called. Mm -hmm. Kind of some days feel like you're trying to resurrect the day. Uh... As you can see, the seal no longer held the grease in where it was supposed to. This is all supposed to be kind of dry back in here, but as those seals wear, then all the grease just oozes out. I mean, we'll probably be able to rebuild it this time, and I would probably say this will be the last time, probably. Probably update to a new assembly the next time. This is going to be a two-can job. At one point in time, some of these were filled with oil, and then they switched to a polyurea grease, and then since then we've gone to a synthetic grease. The uh, same thing we use in the combine reversers and the shivs which is supposed to help, but this is pretty, pretty hard, pretty nasty stuff. Once we get everything cleaned up, the, there's a bearing inside here. We also check, it feels nice and smooth. Um, get this contact cleaner out of here. It'll evaporate anyway, especially on a day like today. So we're going to put the wear sleeves in, put the new seals in, and then I hand pack it full of grease and uh, basically slide the shiv back on, make sure the vent is venting, or if it doesn't have a vent, take the plug out of the front of the, the drive shaft there. And uh, these just go in like that. And you're going to put a two piece seal and o-ring in. This is your seal. O-ring goes in first. Seal's going to go in. Get it to slide in the groove. Just like that. And we'll repeat that on the other side. This is the part number of the grease you should be putting in, TY25744. It's a white synthetic grease. Stream duty, temperature, it's supposed to not break down in the heat of this situation. It's ready to go back on. This 
does have to be timed as far as where the placement of the three pistons that push on it are. So we got that lined up. What is it you're doing back there? So this is actually the control valve for the uh, pistons that actually control the fan speed. There's a bleed underneath here uh, that'll allow us to push those pistons all the way back. You just have to loosen this about a half a turn, full turn. You don't take it out, just loosen it up. And we can actually, it just makes assembly a little bit easier by uh, this extra grease up here. Uh, allowing that shiv to go all the way back and you don't have to put quite so much tension on the belt when you go to put it all together. Push them back. And that'll also give you a chance if you have too much grease, you want it to come out, like I said, the breather or if I just take it all the way out just to make sure we don't have anything stuck in there that avoid getting that code later in life for a fan speed high. Get your boot back up on here. Get it on the lip. Probably hard for you to see. And it's just a just a dust cover. Just hold on to the belt. Pry the shivs apart a little bit. The belt will hold that apart and that'll make it easier to get your shiv lined up there. Got it back on there. Yep, fan drive is on and the belt will tighten up once the tractor is started. Um, just remember to close your bleed back there. Otherwise it will uh, it'll give you a fan speed low code. Remind you that you forgot to do that, so. Got to tighten there. that fan back on there? Yep, put the fan, and the fan stays in there the whole time. It actually has got a little notch made in it, just the shroud to give you a little extra room to get it in and out of there. What do you think? I might live to see another day or two. Yeah. How much of a life does that have before you go at it again? Um, oh, I would say at least a couple of years. I would say easy. Um, and actually, if, uh, since it's got grease if they end up, I'll show them where the grease at. They'll dig they grease it, they'll get it, uh, get it even longer, I would say. But, uh, yeah. Well, I think that's going to do it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. and. For me and Josh, I'll see you next time. See ya.